Alright guys, how you doing? This is revisiting the homemade BSF bin that I'd showed you in a past video. And I just wanted to go over some of the things that had worked for it and some of the things that hadn't. As you can see, it's just absolutely crawling with these guys. I threw this entire half a cantaloupe in there yesterday and it's just completely gone. They eat an, ate an entire, almost an entire pizza overnight. They just eat an insane amount of stuff. And uh, throw in the old chicken stuff in there, you can see the bones. They just pick it clean, and eventually this will all be great compost. And uh, But I just wanted to go over a few aspects of the bin itself, that uh, some, some things that work and some things that don't. One of the things that doesn't work too well is the lid. It works pretty well for letting the bugs in, for letting the flies in and everything, which is cool. But I didn't really spend a whole lot of time designing it, and it, it lets too much rain in because this isn't really attached, and because of this lip here, where the water kind of sits on the top, it doesn't flow off. So that's something I'll have to fix in the future. The good thing is that it, um, I do have a big drainage port, so that right down here at the bottom, there's a piece of mesh. So all the water just goes through, and that keeps it from getting too soggy in here, so they don't drown or anything. But what it also does is it lets all the, the stuff drip out the bottom. And uh, since it's not being collected in anything, it, it, that's been attracting ants, which is a problem, and other flies. The bin itself doesn't seem to attract too much flies at all because the grubs just eat everything too quickly and they have a natural secretion that wards off other flies. But the uh, the stuff that comes out the bottom, that's where all the flies are kind of um, congregating around and the ants, it attracts them. So that's something I'll have to fix. Make it maybe a collection port of some kind in the next bin. But the biggest problem is just the ramp system itself. Well, they can find it, there's just too many nooks and crannies and the fact that you can, they can go under the ramp and everything because the way they migrate is they tend to go out and then up so they can get trapped under it, they can get trapped under here, they get they crawl in the little nooks and crannies around here. So, well, it's great at raising them. I mean, because all you need is a trash can, basically. If you're just using them as compost, you don't even really have to provide a way for them to get out necessarily. You could just have something that they can climb up on or whatever. But um, if you're trying to harvest them for something, whether that be for chicken food or fish food or whatever, then you need to have a better designed, you know, ramp system. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that in the future. And I really like the um, the new biopod design. The old one was circular, and uh, the new one they have is just the ramps on the sides, but they don't. You can't go under it. I mean, so the wall of the thing would just come here. So they have no choice but to go up if they're coming out. And then instead of having one small port like this. There's a slit along the whole the ramp so that when, as soon as they get up there, they drop in. So it seems like it'd be a little, a little better. So maybe I'll spring for one of those one of these days and try it out. But in the meantime, I'll try to figure out some ways to uh, kind of mimic that design in a smaller, more cheaper. Not necessarily smaller, it's about the same size, but in, in, in a cheaper way. But that's pretty much it, man. Just giving you guys an update. Let me know what you guys' experiences have been with that. Peace.